Now, the last one we did ended in six letters in uh, three disjunctions at the end. Uh, six letters across at the end. In a, you know, branched out six times. The next one's going to branch out eight times. Eight letters across at the end plus a ninth column if you count this other point up at the other top. So, and uh, we're going to start with a triple disjunction. A or B or C. We're going to do A or B or C. Uh, line two, and this is, we got four assumptions, so let's do this, do our imaginary line there. It is not the case that A or B occurs. Line three, it is not the case that B and C occur. And line four, it is not the case that A and C occur. All right, so line five, we might as well start, you'd think, with line one, but then we would duplicate extra work. So we're going to start with line two instead. We're going to take apart our negated disjunction. So we're going to go line and this, we're already going to branch, uh, oh pardon me, we're not going to branch it, we're going to get negative A and negative B on line 6 from line 2, negated, disjunction, taking apart or decomposing, taking apart, decomposition, negated, disjunction, decomposition, not A and not B, not A, not B. We have it. Done with that line. But it's on line 7 uh, that we're going to get crazy. We go branch out to there. We say A. Where do we get the A from? And we branch out over here. We're going to say B or C. Now, is there any place in all the lines above where we had some place where we said A or B or C? So this would be line one. Uh, disjunction, decomposition, decompose of a disjunction. Now, at this point, we have a completely atomic line. We can't reduce this particular line any further. And we've got a contradiction here, A and not A. So there's no reason to investigate any further on this line. We can close this line because we have a contradiction. Now, uh, here we are, line 7. We have B or C. And our next step will go to line 8. We're going to take this B or C apart. Like that. So line 8, we have B and C. And that's a disjunction from line 7, decomposition of a disjunction. So now we've got this, we closed that atomic sentence by saying A and B or C, and we took apart the B or C. So that one's closed. And we already closed this one, so now let's do this one. If it is not the case that B and C occur, then either B or C fails, because we're just saying it is not both. So we're saying it must be one of them fails. So let's take that apart now. So we're going to have to branch a couple of times here. So it is not B or not C. So we're going to do those two possibilities. Not B, not C. We have to investigate it on both of our open branches. Not B, 
not C. And that's from line 3, negated ampersand decomposition. So look, we have negative B and we have B occurring in that line, so close it. And we have here, we could have closed that already, my apologies, we should have closed that line because it's a B, we have negative B above, which I hadn't noticed. So we should have just opened this line over here. And over here we have C and negative C occurring, so close that one. Negative B occurs and negative B, so we're okay. We're open on that line. It seems to be that's the only line we're presently open on. And we've decomposed this sentence. So now let's decompose this one. It is not the case that A and C means either A fails or C fails. So either A fails or C fails. That's decomposed from line 4 negated ampersand decomposition. So we're okay. We'll leave that one open. But here we have negative C, C. So we're going to close that line. It's a contradiction and we can't have it. So there's one open branch.